Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve other types of equations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Okay, so let's first talk about the quadratic form. If the exponent of the middle term is one half of the exponent on the leading term, we have an equation in quadratic form, which we can solve as if it were a quadratic. We substitute a variable for the middle term to solve equations in quadratic form, okay? So number nine, our first one here, okay? We have a fourth degree equation in the quadratic form and we're gonna solve it. So let's see this, three x to the fourth minus two x squared minus one equals zero. So what they're saying is here, we have the fourth power and second power. This two is half of four, so it's in a quadratic form. So what we're going to do is say, okay, I'm going to take x squared, and I'm going to let it equal to the variable u. And I'm going to substitute here. So now we have 3u squared equal, uh, minus, not equal, minus 2u minus 1 equals 0. So notice, u is equal to x squared. x squared squared is x to the fourth. u is equal to x squared here. And now this looks like something we've seen before, right? It's a quadratic. This factors to be 3u plus 1 times u minus 1 equals 0. And now we can set each part individually equal to 0. 3u plus 1 equals 0. And then u minus 1 equal to 0. And now what we're going to try to do is get u by itself, like always. Subtract one of both sides. 3u equals 0. Divide 3 to both sides. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. That would be a bad mistake. Hey, we all make mistakes. Good thing I caught it, right? Okay. If it was really bad. I just redo the problem. We have minus 1 here. Divide both sides by 3. And u equals a negative 1 third. All right. Where do we go from here? Well, they tell us that u, or we said, u equaled x squared. So now substitute back in. x squared equals a minus 1 third. Square root both sides here, and x equals a square root of a negative one-third. Uh-oh, square root of a negative, what do we do? Well, we know about imaginary numbers, right? Oh, this is plus or minus two, right? So x equals plus or minus i square root of one-third. And that's good enough for me, okay? So we have x equals plus or minus i square root of one-third. The other part, add one to both sides, u equals one. Now, x squared in for u x squared equals 1, square root both sides here, and x equals plus or minus square root of 1, uh, which you should know, which is just 1, okay? So our two solutions here, or four solutions in a sense, is x equals plus or minus i square root of 1 third, and plus or minus 1, okay? So that's a little interesting case of first diving into substituting with u. Let's go do another practice problem here. And we'll do it the same idea, a little differently. So example 10. <sighs> We're given an equation in quadratic form containing a binomial. We have x plus 2 squared plus 11 x plus 2 minus 12 equals 0. So just like we did before, we're going to set u to equal something. We have we have first a second power and first power. It works as kind of looking like a quadratic. Well, if we set u equal to x plus 2 here on the inside, we now can have, well, u squared plus 11, u minus 12 equals 0. And now we solve this one here, the factors. We have u plus 12 and a u minus 12. Uh, minus 12. <laughs> Not 12, 1. I got ahead of myself too much. Equals 0. I keep catching myself just in the nick of time. So we set both of them equal to 0. u plus 12 equals 0. And u minus 1 equal to 0. Subtract 12 to both sides. u equals minus 12. Substitute x plus 2 in for u. So x plus 2 equals minus 12. Subtract 2 to both sides, and we get x equals a minus 14 here. Same thing with the right-hand side now. Add 1 to both sides, so u equals 1. Again, set this x plus 2 equal to 1. Subtract 2 to both sides, and x equals a negative 1. 
So what we have now are two solutions. Our x equals a negative 14 and a negative 1 here. Okay? All right. I'm going to erase this, and we're going to get another example. This is a big example, so I'm going to need all the room that I can. See you in a moment. All right. Number 11. This is a big, tricky problem. Okay? Watch this. Minus 4x over x minus 1 plus 4 over x plus 2. Oh, x plus 1. I can't even write that right. This video I've had a lot of little mess ups. If you like them, don't forget to like this video. Equals minus 8 over x squared minus 1. Okay. I don't like fractions. They're not my friend. Okay. Well, sometimes. What we want to do is see if we can get rid of this denominator here. All right, let's go find the LCD of this whole thing. Well, what do we know about x squared minus 1? That's x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay? So, if I multiply everything here by that, x plus 1, x minus 1, I can essentially get rid of the denominators. So, I'm going to do that to the left and right hand side. A lot, of, a lot of steps here. So we take the x plus 1, x minus 1, and multiply it by everything here. Minus 4x over x minus 1, plus 4 over x plus 1 equals, same thing here, negative 8 over, I'm going to factor that out, x plus 1, x minus 1, so it's easier to see, times x plus 1, x Minus one. All right, all right, all right, all right. So what does that do for us here? Okay, so left-hand side, we kind of skip a little step here, but the x minus one cancels out here for the first part. So we have a minus four x times just the first part, x plus one. Plus, here, the x plus one cancels out, so we just have a four times what's left is the x minus one. What is that equal to? Here, these cancel out, minus eight. So this isn't too bad looking now, right? We've seen something like this. Let's go simplify. Distribute this out here. And we're left with minus 4x squared minus 4x. Do the same thing with the 4 here to both parts. Plus 4x minus 4 equals a minus 8. Hmm. Well, this is lovely, isn't it? The minus 4x and positive 4x cancel out. I always like when that happens. We have minus 4x squared minus 4 equals a negative 8. So now what we're going to do is I want to pull out a minus 4 here and pull out a minus 4. And I'm left with x squared plus 4 equals minus 8. Divide both sides by negative 4. And I'm going to factor this out here. Oh, <laughs> pull out a 4. See, that's where I made a mistake. Pull out a minus 4 over plus 1 here. Okay, so we have plus 1, and we have, we'll divide both sides by negative 4, so we have x squared here plus 1 equals divide both sides by negative 4 is a uh, positive 2. Subtract 1 to both sides, and we're left with x squared here equals a positive 1. Square root that, and we have x equals a positive minus, plus or minus 1, okay, right? All right, so if x equals plus or minus 1. So we need to go check that oof, into our original equation, but watch this. If we put a positive 1 here, right, in for x, that x right there, a positive 1, that gives us a 0 in the denominator, which we cannot have. If we put a negative 1 in for this x, we get again a 0 in the denominator. We can't do that. So both of these solutions we actually can't, we solve for don't work. So this one actually has no solution. I know you're probably upset. You're like, all oh, this work, he messed up a few times, caught himself, all that for no solution. And yes, that's going to happen sometimes. Sorry, it does. Here, this problem actually has no solution. There's no x value that will work for this rational equation. Okay? Well, I hope you learned something and weren't too disappointed. If you uh, did learn something at least, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always,
Thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math tutor.com.